Hey everyone and welcome back. So this is going to be another one of those kind of channel updates. I haven't done one of these for a little while and this is going to act as the kind of end of year recap. Hopefully with some interesting insights into what I've been doing, what's going on, what the channel's doing and what's going to happen going forward. So the first thing is just to mention that you may have noticed a slight kind of lack of content I suppose as I'm currently midway through a six month contract on some freelance work. So it's going to be running until March. And until that time, obviously that means I'm going to have a lot less time to work on the online content. It's taking up the majority of my Monday to Friday. So that is why after some of the content that I had kind of pre-recorded and edited, there's been a uh, somewhat drought of content on the channel. I want to try and get back to at least one video per week. So that's gonna be my goal going into 2022. Even with the, the work I still have ongoing, we'll be getting some more content out. That's really the first thing, uh, just the, the work that I've been doing uh, alongside the channel work. Along with that, just to mention, I also do a few other things as well. So it's a uh, somewhat kind of busy lifestyle at the moment. I also work with an online college named CG Spectrum. I work as a mentor and a content creator for some of the online course they provide. Uh, I do weekly one-to-ones with their students which is also what made me branch out into doing private one-to-ones. So I've been doing those uh, alongside as well, uh, alongside the college work. People have uh, contacted me and asked if I'd work with them privately. That's been really cool, by the way. If any of you are watching this, uh, it's been a huge pleasure working with you all. I've got to meet some really, really cool people from very different backgrounds looking to get into programming uh, from artists, sound designers, and it's been very, very cool working with you all. I find that's proven to be really, really useful for them. It's something that when I first got approached to do it, I actually turned them down quite a few times uh, for kind of private one-to-one -one work, just because I couldn't see the value proposition okay. from their side. I couldn't really see what I could give back. And it was only after I'd worked with this online college for a little while that I saw there was actually some huge value to being able to directly interact with somebody and ask them, in this case me, their questions, get live feedback, my thoughts, my process, and kind of see me break these things down. And yeah, that was just really, really cool. Uh, it kind of felt like what would take me several hours of video content to get across. I could just sit with them one-to-one -one on a video call, pinpoint exactly where they were getting confused, give them the answer, and it's just proven to be uh, an amazing experience. So that's been really cool. And I haven't actually used this as a selling point, I've just realized, but I should mention that if you were interested in getting involved in something like that, there is a new tier that I've opened on Patreon. So you can check out the new tier reward there if you wanted to work with me in a similar way on a kind of one-to-one -one basis. Or I do offer private tutoring, mentoring, whatever you want to call it through my webpage. All of those links will be in the description below, just so you can check out if uh, kind of more of what I meant about that. So they're my main things at the moment, freelancing, the, the college work and one-to-one uh, -one mentoring, which has been really cool. But it does mean I've had a lot less time to work on the channel stuff. Uh, definitely a lot less than I would like. That will all be changing going into 2022. And one of the things I've really discovered from all of this is that I want to find a way to work in a more full-time and official way on things for this channel, new courses, new online content, like the free packages that I released recently was uh, really cool. It's not been used a whole lot yet, but some of the results that I've seen people using, the uh, the Manny set for has proven to be uh, really fun to watch all of that kind of unfold as well. And I've just come to appreciate that this is really where I want to spend my time and my focus is creating content uh, like I've been doing for this channel and things like that. So that's gonna be a huge focus going forward. That somehow provides a nice segue into the next point I had. None of this is scripted. I've tried leaving this as free flowing as possible. I know that I have a very flat voice as it is. Scripted content for me, not great. But the next thing I wanted to mention, and this is where I really need uh, help from you guys, everyone watching this, I, this is kind of like a call to arms from viewers and people who hopefully if you're watching this, you probably care about what I create to some extent. Otherwise you're watching a random person talk about what they've been doing for their year. So this is definitely directed to you asking for community help here regarding the channel and the performance. So one thing is, I just want to get this out of the way, the, the channel's just over 27K in subscribers, which in one way is amazing. I'm really happy that I've reached such a number. It's always great to know that I've helped just one person is great. And I'm just gonna show you a screenshot here. This is where we're kind of at at the moment, just over 27K. And I'm happy to be very transparent with kind of income and earnings and stuff. And I just wanted to kind of highlight that what I'm about to ask, and I'm basically gonna ask you to like, sub, the notification bell all of that stuff 
uh, leave a comment, go back to videos that you've enjoyed or found useful, or if you had a question and you didn't ask it, go back and ask that question. But the reason I'm showing this value uh, is I think it's somewhere around $140, the estimated monthly income. So I'm not doing this for financial gain. Uh, YouTube doesn't pay well enough to make it worthwhile. The reason I'm doing this is that I get a lot of comments of people saying that they've, they've really enjoyed the content. They can't believe they've not seen it before. Why is the channel so small? Uh, why is there not more kind of uh, notifications going out about it and things like that? Uh, and I just want to kind of finally try to do something to change that. So I don't think there's some conspiracy where YouTube's trying to get rid of me or hiding my content. Uh, I think we just need to tap into the YouTube algorithm. I think if we can show that there is a rush of people interested to get those notifications, be updated with the future content, engaging in the videos, hopefully that will help the content which is proving useful to the people who manage to find it. And I think that's the problem. YouTube doesn't seem to be very forthcoming with recommending my content and I'm not sure why uh, even if there's nothing else it really recommends that is relevant it still seemingly doesn't always recommend my videos and that's just something I'd like to to address I want to try and help as many people as possible hopefully if you've been following my content for a time now uh, you know that I do a lot of this for free all of the weekly content all of the stuff that I release generally I make as much of it free as possible. I have released courses, I have plugins, because I would like to, like I've mentioned, make this a profitable endeavor so that I can make this my full-time thing. But YouTube definitely isn't where that is going to be coming from. So I will need to do some things on the side. So yeah, like I just want to be transparent. This isn't to get more ad revenue because even that value that it estimates is normally much lower than that. So even if I doubled or tripled the sub count, this wouldn't be where the sustainability comes from. I just want to do this and I'm asking for this just to try and get the channel in front of as many people as possible just because if the content is as useful as the comments would suggest the people who do find it and I'm going to share some of these comments on screen actually because recently I've been getting a lot of these very similar comments and that's kind of what's led me to do this. So if the channel content is as useful and as quality and as detailed as these comments suggest then there's little reason that I can see to kind of not try and get this in front of as many people and help even more people so that's really it uh, if you are a fan of the channel and maybe you don't subscribe to many channels in fear of being inundated with updates uh, i generally only release one to two videos per week i don't do a whole lot of community posts i try to keep that to a minimum so subscribing and hitting the notification bell would be very very much appreciated uh, likewise uh, just leave a like it takes a second and that costs you absolutely nothing. And if you wanted to leave a comment, you will see that I try to reply in as much detail as possible to all comments uh, where possible. That will take me on to the new focus of the channel. Uh, quite simply, I'll be trying a few new things to get more viewers in, uh, maybe try and expand the content that I cover. I want to take a slight kind of diversion away from the more technical programming side of things. I had some ideas about uh, content, which is gonna be a lot more scripted very much kind of uh, theoretical stuff on how to enter the industry, uh, not even just as a programmer, as an artist, as a designer, uh, whatever the field may be. From my experience, the, the useful things that and the questions that always pop up, especially since I've been doing the mentoring and helping with this online college, uh, there are a lot of questions that seem to always be raised about uh, what should my portfolio include? How should I apply for jobs? Where should I look? What should I focus on? Should I go to college? Should I do an online course? All of these different things. And I want to try and provide some insights into that. That's one of the first things I want to focus on. Uh, that's going to be one of the first playlists, hopefully, in the new year. Like I mentioned, uh, not just for engagement, but definitely uh, keep that in mind. It definitely helps. Drop a message or a comment down below and let me know what you think. Is that Does that sound interesting? Is that something you've had in your mind, uh, something you'd like to know? I wanted to take a look at things specifically like making it more accessible to as many people as possible as well, especially in the current day with the wealth of content available to you online whether it's even relevant or needed to necessarily go down the standard college or university route. In some cases, it's debatable, and that's the sort of thing I wanted to look into because I think we can get a lot more people uh, at least dipping their toes into becoming a, an artist or a programmer before taking that huge plunge into a university course and, of course, the cost that tend to follow that type of thing. So that's just a kind of brief summary of some of the ideas that I had that could be included in that type of content. 
And then I wanted to keep up with some of the programming stuff and looking at subjects again, likewise that I've seen more back on the programming front when I'm helping people, the questions that always come up. And this is through people contacting me on Discord, through the channel here, people I've worked with directly. There are certain things, uh, just an example that comes to mind, and two of them actually. Uh, the first is actually just like using a search engine that seems to really, really trouble some people. I've seen people wait for kind of weekends waiting for an answer on something which should have been a 30 second Google search. So that's one thing I, I kind of seriously want to cover is how to break down search terminologies and kind of target your search results more to the question you should be asking rather than what you think you need to ask. And then likewise, other things that always seem to trouble people and is very important. I haven't really seen it covered in a good way so far is specifically things like communication between classes in Unreal Engine. So that's another thing which will probably be its own kind of miscellaneous topic, showing people all of the different ways in one video to do things like casting, communicating with interfaces, communicating with classes you may not be directly overlapping with or something, the different function calls that we can use to get those references, because that seems to really be a, a, a hurdle for some people starting with the engine. So that's another playlist, just small kind of topics like that to generally help people in any project, not so much like the project based videos I've made in the past, where you usually have to follow it from video one through to video 20 or whatever. So those are the two main playlists that I have uh, in mind going forward. So a uh, kind of general getting into the industry uh, playlist, uh, maybe throwing in some of my experiences that I've had as well, what to look out for. Uh, again, things like that. If you had things that you wanted to know about in that kind of vein of knowledge, then drop that in a comment below and I'll add that to the list of things I'll try to fit in to that playlist. And then the second playlist would be these kind of small miscellaneous single topic videos on questions and issues that I see coming up quite often, where people often get stuck for long periods of time and they the kind of really hinders their progress. And again, if you've seen things like that before, where you keep seeing it crop up in a Reddit post or the forums, then let me know because it may be a question I've not seen, but I might be able to provide a simple answer in a quick one-off video. Uh, and then really just a few things to wrap up. So the one other thing I forgot to mention, really should have scripted this, uh, that has been keeping me busy. So going back to point one of this video, uh, the things I've been doing alongside the YouTube content, uh, I applied to become an authorized instructor officially with Epic. That took a few months. I had to sit a kind of test exam type thing. I then had to teach uh, live kind of online lectures, I suppose they would be, because we obviously couldn't uh, gather together anywhere. So yeah, it was two calls of several people. And I just had to kind of go through the process of teaching it like you would in a lecture hall, which was very weird doing that over Zoom. And then that all kind of gets pulled apart and uh, graded by some of the staff at Epic. And that recently came back uh, with a re response. It's actually been, I think, around about four months since I initially went through the process and submitted everything. So kind of nerve wracking four months, not hearing anything back at all. And I've just had the confirmation that I was successful and I can and I claim to be an authorized instructor for Epic, uh, which means I get a snazzy badge, which we'll see on emails and uh, on my YouTube banner. So that was another thing that took up a fair amount of time just getting that ready. And again, if you happen to have been on one of the kind of initial, we'll call it an online lecture, then again, thank you for helping me with that. It was great to see how much value apparently that provided. I had to create a topic at random let the people know what it would be and then just kind of talk at them for an hour about this topic that I'd chosen uh, and apparently both calls were very very useful one was on interfaces and one was on like the generals of getting familiar with the Unreal Engine and all of the feedback was really good that it was super useful which yeah it was nerve-wracking needing to do that but great to hear how, how useful that hour was for the people who were kind enough to, to join the call not knowing quite what the results would be. So I think that was really it. Um, a few things I have less specific details on. I have a few courses planned, some new things, uh, and that's another thing I wanted to do. After all of the, the work I've been doing over the years on the YouTube channel, the courses, working directly with Epic on their learning platform, and I've got a few courses with Epic in the works as well, uh, working with this online college, doing the mentoring. I think I've found a area in online courses where things could be improved. I don't quite know what that would look like yet, but that's something I want to do as well. I want to look at the kind of value prospect that people get from these online courses. I think a lot of them can be great. I've, I think I've taken feedback from my previous courses where they've done well and not so well. And building upon all of this experience and what I've uh, kind of either been directly involved with or experienced from other people's content, I want to kind of try and collate all of this now and 
look at creating a set of really, really valuable pieces of online learning material, including things like projects to, to actually get working yourself as well as just following the online video. So like I said, I'm not so sure what that would look like yet. Just things that I've noticed that could be improved. I need to try and look into ways to, to hopefully do that. So that'll be something else going into the new year. So if you've watched this far, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have a great new year. I hope you're looking forward to the future content. And as ever, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.